So this is a model of the torsion differential that we made in video 2309. Differentials are one of those things you run into every day because you find them in cars. And what they do in vehicles is they allow the two rear wheels to move at different speeds relative to each other from a single input shaft. That's why when you turn corners, you don't get the back drifting out because the wheels are able to turn at different speeds. But differentials don't only do that, they're actually really important for either combining power or splitting power. So we have a single axle coming in, it can split the power, but it can also combine that power to a single axle output. And so in things like dual rotor wind turbines, they're becoming very popular as well. So differentials have a whole host of different designs. This one's considered to be one of the better quality ones. It's a top piece of engineering, but it is somewhat complicated, as you can see. Now, it relies on the central portion here, which is essentially a worm gear. Worm gears have a curious property. You can't back drive them. That means you can only drive them one way. If something tries to come in the other way, it just locks up. And this torsion differential uses that to take advantage of it to make a differential. But of course, worm gears aren't the only gear that will do something like that. This is an Archimedean spiral. An Archimedean spiral is where the ratio of the turns is identical as it moves inside. When we have a closer look at it, we can see it's just a spiral and there's a normal spur gear. The distance between this spiral is the same as the size of that tooth. And as that spiral moves around, of course, what it does is engages with the next gap there on the tooth. And then we can move that around using that spiral. Now, obviously, one turn of the spiral means one tooth turn of this. So the gears do tend to be of high reduction. Equally, though, if we try to turn the spur gear, we're not able to turn the spiral because the tooth locks against the spiral itself, and so the gear is unbackdrivable. So looking at the torsion and realizing at the heart of it is the non-back drivability of a worm gear and having another gear available that is also non-back drivable, the question that springs to my mind is, can we make a differential using Archimedean spirals that mimics what a torsion does, but with less parts and a simpler construction? So what I've done is I've printed out two Archimedean spears, uh, spheres, spirals. There we go, two Archimedean spirals. One goes clockwise, one goes anti-clockwise. Then we put them face to face like that and have a spur gear between them. Actually, we should pretty much get what we're looking for. So of course I turned to Tinkercad and drew up this. These files will be available on Thingiverse as per usual and uh, the link to them will be in the description. Now like that I think it looks relatively complex but it is a surprisingly small number of parts. Okay, let's get those parts printed off. First things first, let's put the axles in. You can see that it's short, long, short, goes into the plate there, reverse. So it drives in that way into the spiral plate. You've done that, then this end piece drives on and a clip goes on there. We do the same with the gear one, and once we've done that, they should be free to turn. Now we take these P shapes, and there should be six of them, and you'll notice there's six slots in there. They go into the slots like that with the P facing inward, and we glue them in place. Once we've done that, the spur gears drop into the P shape there, engaging with the Archimedes spiral, drop a pin in, and then each pin gets a clip on the end. So that it's like that, and when we turn the Archimedes spiral, of course, that spur gear turns, and we repeat it with those other two. When we've done that, and it's all working fine, this then lines up and goes on there. And then when you've got that together, it slides in its frame like that. There are a couple of caps that glue on there and there, being careful to leave that to spin freely. And these are flanges where wheels or other gears go on, and they glue onto those two axles there and there. One thing I forgot to mention is that these P shapes actually are slightly longer at the non-gear end. So the long side goes to the non-gear end, so you can identify them. When it's like that, we take this bevel gear, drop it in there, and then shove the axle through, and then the handle goes on. 
And that's it finished. Now then, of course, we turn the handle and the whole thing turns. But more importantly is those two are able to turn in opposite directions, which means relative to each other, we've got ourselves a differential. And of course, it's based on the Archimedes spiral. And although I do love the torsion differential, the Archimedes spiral differential has the same properties of the torsion, but for far less parts. I've put three in to help spread the torque. If you don't think that's enough, well, put six in. You can put as many of these in as you like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.